awareness of brain tumours. David Langton Jilks has cancer and has undergone 10 operations as well as radio and chemotherapy. Well, now his parents want to make sure other families know how to spot the telltale signs. Our health correspondent, Matthew Hill, reports. It's hard to believe this energetic 16-year-old is facing the end of his life. And if you get a bee buzzing around you, yes. just, just don't panic. No. Oh, I'm more likely to sting you. David's been living with brain cancer for five years. I've relapsed several times, which is fine. Um, <laughs> and now I'm kind of stuffed. But yeah, hey, we can't worry more. Before I was diagnosed, I was feeling really weird, sicky, I was getting really bad headaches. I thought it was just, maybe I was coming down with something or ill, or it was normal. Because um, it was, it came on so slow that it kind of almost became kind of a normal thing. It took six weeks to diagnose, but his parents feel it could have been spotted earlier. It was only a four day delay for us, but he, a medulloblastoma, the children are usually, the, from the first symptoms, they are dead after six weeks. We were in our sixth week. We'd have lost him that week. So that four-day delay could have been fatal. 500 children are diagnosed with brain tumours each year in the UK. It can take up to three months to diagnose them. That's three times longer than in the United States. That's why Mrs langton Jilts has made it her mission to deliver these pocket-sized symptom cards to as many school children as she can. Because I didn't have the Head Smart Symptoms card to check, I, of course, didn't link the headache week one with one vomit week two with another headache in week three, a vomit in week four, and I didn't know to ask about his eyes. I had thought he's being a bit placid, but I didn't know that that is classic behavioural change. And he became really quite placid and terribly well behaved, <laughs> which was out of character. <laughs> but, and, and you could see with his eyes, there was a lot of, the eyes were moving around yes. quite a lot. But it was nothing... Well, it nothing was dramatic. Very, that's nothing dramatic. I think that's why it's so important. You know, if, if you've got the same risk of your child getting meningitis as getting a brain tumour, so roughly one in 600 children, you know, parents know how to pick up the signs of meningitis. We need them to know how to pick up the signs of a brain tumour. Dams of flies and dragonflies, they spend like, they've got a fairly long, they live for about four or five During his short life, David has built up a deep knowledge of nature. His only hope now is that other youngsters will be spared the surgery he's had to undergo. If only they can be diagnosed in time. And then that's kind of practically the end of their life cycle. I think they get killed. Most of them get killed off by the frost. Matthew Hill, BBC Points West. Well, David and his family have now added their support to the Head Smart project. It's a campaign to make people more aware of the symptoms of brain tumours in children. The Bristol-based consultant paediatrician, Dr Jan Dudley, is the former chair of the project and joins us here now. Thank you for coming in. It, it's so difficult for parents and it's so moving to see what David's doing and how he wants to raise the profile and get people talking. How important is that? Absolutely. This is a completely devastating condition and it's... it's uh... Uh, heartening to see uh, David's parents supporting the, the Head Smart campaign, which is really aimed at raising awareness in, in the public and in healthcare professionals. And it's 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 really all about uh, identifying the, uh, uh, the the possible problem through looking at the website and, and actually, to a certain extent, being empowered to to go with your hunches that yeah. there is something that's not quite right. Um, can be an incredibly difficult condition to diagnose. Uh, it, you, the symptoms in isolation could be reflected with any number of childhood illnesses. And of course, uh, as you know, childhood illnesses um, take up, well, children with uh, minor illnesses take up a large uh, amount of, of healthcare professionals' time. So actually differentiating them from the non-specific uh, illnesses can be very difficult. So difficult for a parent, let alone a professional. Absolutely. So we heard a couple of symptoms there that David's mum was talking about. What are the things we should really be looking for? I, the bottom line that the PedSmart is trying to get across is that those symptoms are absolutely key. So headache and vomiting, but as I've just said, you know, occur. Can a lot happen. Of, yeah, in the 
the population, but it's when they happen together. That's when, and, and when they happen together and it's persistent for two weeks or more, for example, that's when you're starting to add to your clinical suspicion that there is something wrong. When you move into the territory of abnormal movements and seizures, it tends to be much easier to diagnose. Yeah. Uh, but it's those non-specific symptoms that can be the forerunners. And, and actually you'll find that many, many parents will actually take their children back and forth to the GP on many, many occasions, not just the GP, to all healthcare professionals. Uh, and this is what Again, this is what HeadSmart is all about. It is uh, identifying the, web, the, the, the issues on the website and, and going to the school nurse, for example, and the, the optician and the GP and actually saying, I've, I've got these symptoms, I've seen this on the website, yeah. can we go through it together? And I, I look forward to the day when we can, we can do lots of consultations with a, with a website where you can look and you can reassure with regard to certain symptoms and you can raise the flag when you're concerned and, and make the necessary referrals. That's exactly it. If you're frightened, if you're worried, Read, make that step, go and ask. It's quite time critical as well, isn't it, with a condition like this? It, well, it, it, it's, it, it can be, it certainly can be. And, and, and not least, it's, it's incredibly difficult for these families who need to know what, mm. what's going on. It can certainly impact uh, mortality and ultimate disability if, if you don't get the diagnosis right. It's, it's a life threatening condition. Okay, okay, well, if you want to know more then, uh, go to HeadSmart, that's your website, isn't it? You can put that into so a search engine. Google HeadSmart, that's the easiest thing to do. It's headsmart.org.uk, but it's, it comes up as number one on Google. Okay, Dr Dudley, thanks for coming in and telling us more about it. Pleasure.